Hi parents, soon to be parents and all guardians, welcome to my channel Life with Little Ones and in my today's video, I will share to you about how to treat frequent nosebleeds in children. A nosebleed is bleeding from tissues inside the nose or nasal mucous membranes. It goes by a broken blood vessels. The medical word for nosebleeds is epitaxis. Nosebleeds are common in kids 3 to 10 years old, and most are caused by nose picking or dry air. A nosebleed can look scary for both parents and children, but it is usually not a serious problem. Most will stop on their own and can be cared for at home. Though most nosebleeds in children are spontaneous and occur infrequently, some children may experience more frequent recurrent nosebleeds. 90% of nosebleeds in children originate in the front part of the nose. If blood flows down from the back of the nose into the mouth and throat, your child may swallow it, which may cause her to vomit. Here's a look at common causes of nosebleeds, different ways to manage nosebleeds at home, as well as advice on when to talk with a doctor. What causes nosebleeds? There are many causes of nosebleeds, most of which are aren't serious. Beginning with the most common, they include colds, allergies, and nose picking. A cold or allergy causes swelling and irritation inside the nose and can lead the nose to bleed. Often, a child gets nosebleeds from the trauma, such as picking his nose, putting something into it, blowing it too hard, getting hit in the nose by a ball or other object, or from a fall. Another common cause of nosebleeds is dry air in the home. The lining of your child's nose may dry out, making it more likely to bleed. How to treat nosebleeds in children? There are many misconceptions and folk tales about how to treat nosebleed. Here's a list of do's and don'ts. Do's. Number one, remain calm. A nosebleed can be frightening, but it is rarely serious. 2. Keep your child in a sitting or standing position. Tilt their head slightly forward. 3. Pinch the lower half of your child's nose, the softest part, between your thumb and finger and hold it firmly for at least 10 minutes. If your child is old enough, they can do this themselves. Don't release the nose during this time to see if it is still bleeding. Stopping the pressure may interfere with the forming of the clot and allow the bleeding to continue. Release the pressure after 10 minutes and wait, keeping your child quiet and still. If the bleeding hasn't stopped, hold pressure again. If the bleeding hasn't stopped after 10 more minutes of pressure, call your pediatrician or go to the nearest emergency department. Don't. Don't panic. You'll just scare your child. Don't have them lie down or tilt back their head. Don't stuff tissues, gauze, or any other materials into your child's nose to stop the bleeding. When will you call a doctor? If you think your child may have lost too much of blood, you can get emergency care. But keep in mind that the blood coming from the nose is always looks like a lot. You call doctor if the bleeding is coming only from your child's mouth or he is coughing or vomiting blood or brown material that look like coffee grounds. Call a doctor if your child is unusually pale or sweaty. She has a lot of nose bleeds along with chronically stuffy nose. This may mean she has a small, easily broken blood vessels in the nose or on the surface of the lining of the nose or a growth in the nasal passages. You can call doctor if a blood vessel is causing the problem. The doctor may catheterize the blood vessel to stop the bleeding. How to prevent nose bleeds? If your child gets a lot of nose bleeds, ask your pediatrician about using salt water or saline, nose drops every day. Doing so may be particularly helpful if you live in a very dry climate or when the furnace is on. 
the use of humidifier or vaporizer will also help prevent nasal drying. And of course, tell your child not to pick his nose. As always, if your child is not getting relief from the helpful tips, or if you want to talk about your child's nose bleed further, call your healthcare provider for an appointment. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.